The Volt is a dolt. That is the dumbest car I've ever seen to man. It's going to lead to a lot of divorces. I watch car commercials. It I looks watch. stupid. It, Someone it, bought it, a motor trend to say that was car of the year. It's going to lead to marital discord. You know what happened? People are going to end the next. Oh, I thought you were going to plug it in. I thought you were going to plug it in. It stinks. They're not buying this thing. Well, as you could tell. I've been somewhat subdued in my criticism of electric cars, especially the Volt, but despite my downplaying my doubts, America seems to be plugged into the fact that plug-ins are not in. I want you to check out this USA Today headline. That's right, copying me, questioning if electric cars are losing their spark. Of course, it's a misleading headline since they never had a spark, but I digress, because if you've lost me and USA Today, well, I think it's fair to say, you lost the nation. And Paul Chester over at the National Legal and Policy Center says these electric lemons really never had a chance. Um, do they now? Or what do, you, what do you make of it, Paul? Well, you, you stole my line. They never did have a spark. It's like Stephen Chu, the Department of Energy Secretary, is a proverbial Cub Scout who can't start a ignite a fire with a, rubbing the two rocks together. Uh, yeah, the Volt is sold only something like 6,100 uh, vehicles and the Nissan Leaf, its counterpart that's fully electric, has sold only uh, something like 8,700. Uh, both have heavily subsidized. There was a, another story out today from the, the Mackinac Center up in Michigan, uh, an analysis that showed that about uh, $250,000 in subsidies went into each uh, vault that's been sold. So, uh, and the public's not buying it. Uh, the only way these can these can be viable as if they're heavily as heavily subsidized and even with that it's showing that it's not viable vehicles aren't viable. but it's almost like a, a, an auto field of dreams thing it's proponents say that if you you build it they will come if you build these these uh, power charging stations where you plug them in uh, they will come and that's what's hurting it there aren't enough of these things i think it's a goofy explanation and excuse but what do you make of it well, those are heavily subsidized. The whole system is subsidized. The chargers are subsidized. They've got this thing called the EV project uh, uh, with a, this company called Ecotality and another one called Cullum Technologies. Right. They're receiving millions in, in subsidies to, to deploy these uh, chargers in, in six states. So let's say a car gets to uh, uh, one of these charging stations. Even if you could get to one of the fastest charging stations, it's still going to take 30 minutes to recharge your vehicle to go another 65, 70 miles. It's ridiculous, and, and it's not viable. And, and consumers are so used to being able to stop at the gas station, uh, refill for five minutes, and be back on their way that it, this technology has such a long way to go to to make it. And we're pouring billions of dollars into it for very for no benefit. Well, I've, benefit. I've always wanted with this stuff anyway. If it, hybrid technology is something Americans do like and buy, and they have no problem buying it, even without uh, such incentives, because hybrids have at least a draw and appeal. You don't have to plug them in. Furthermore, I can't prove it. What was the game this weekend where the lights went out in the stadium? Does anyone remember? Candlestick Park. Candlestick Park, right. I tell you what happened there. They haven't proved it. Uh, proving it, but I, I think someone was plugging a volt in. That person was like, <laughs> Well, there's a th one of the Steelers uh, alleged that uh, that the 49ers want a new stadium so bad that they went on national TV and should, wanted to show how badly they needed a new stadium. No, that could be that could be a, that and a vault. Um, very good to have you, Paul. Thank you very much. Enjoyed it. Thank you.